Hello my friend, my name is Angel Bernice and welcome to my weekly videos on free online courses. If you have not yet subscribed, do it now because I will be bringing to you every week new free online courses that they are available in the website courses10.com and by this channel, YouTube, I announce every time there is a new free online course available. So subscribe now. And this week I'm bringing here a new free online course on edge computing. What is edge computing? Well, maybe you remember some years ago, maybe 10 years, 15 years, where Google, for example, they were promoting little laptops that they were called uh, Chromebooks, you know, and the idea was to have very few processing capability in your edge, okay, in your site, and promote all ca the computing capacity in the cloud. Right now, uh, the scenario is completely different, right? Because uh, they have realized that if they want to scale, right? If Google, Microsoft, uh, AWS, if they want to scale and to provide you powerful capabilities, it is very interesting that you have also powerful devices. And we really, in fact, have powerful devices. Maybe uh, you don't know that this little device, the smartphone that you have in your pocket, is a million times more smaller, a million times more cheaper, and a thousand times more powerful than a uh, six million supercomputer that 40 years ago was in a building that was the size of half that building, right? So now that we have very powerful edge devices like this, like this smartphone, uh, we can move some capability, some capacity and processing uh, capacity to these edge devices, right? This is in fact an edge device. Maybe you have not noticed, but uh, now the apps are installed in this device, right? 10 years ago, 15 years ago, we were using just a browser in order to access to all the information. So the information was in the web and was just downloaded to you in your visit, right? But it was very lightweight. So uh, now that we have smartphones, uh, we have apps that they are directly installed inside these devices, right? So this device goes for data, but many of the information that you require in order to use this smartphone, it's already installed inside, right? This is edge computing, right? In fact, it's moving some computer requirements to the edge, very close to the user, in order to lower the requirements needed in the cloud. Maybe you have several customers that they have already moved to the cloud and after moving, they say to you that now they have very high expenses in the cloud. Yes, it's true. I mean, if you are not able to leverage and use also edge computing, your cloud computing services may become very expensive. So uh, edge computing has a lot of benefits. So what are the benefits of edge computing? Well, it helps to minimize bandwidth and server resources. It helps to lower latency. That means to make more faster the access. And of course, it helps you to reduce costs. Many of us from seven months ago were working remotely and we have initiated working, many of us, also with Microsoft Teams technology. Well, Microsoft Teams, it is a highly demanding uh, resource. So there are technologies, edge computing technologies, that are called distributed proxy edge nodes, PECSIP Infinity, that helps to use uh, Microsoft Teams in the edge in order to don't overload the Microsoft Teams in the side of Microsoft. This is just an example of edge computing, but there are many others. Microsoft also announced in May, very recently, that they are adding to Microsoft Azure now Azure Edge Zones for edge computing and 5G. So, in conclusion, edge computing is about transferring some computational requirements to your computer, to your smartphone, to an IoT device in your, uh, in your local area, or also in local network devices close to you. So, edge computing is an emerging technology that is going to have a lot of potential, a lot of demand in the next years. So, I highly recommend you to take this free online course on edge computing that is available at courses10.com. I leave you here below this video the, uh, the link for accessing to this course. And that's all from my side. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.